Hi, everyone who loves the Bible. How are you? I'm Pastor Jun Su Kim, the representative of Carvis Bible. It is two days before the New Year's Day, one of the biggest festivals in Korea. Just a few days before the Lunar New Year, I am pleased to preach Psalm chapter 18, verse 33 in English, which I preached in Korean at the beginning of this year. I sincerely wish that all of you who are listening to Psalm in English today will be filled with the grace and the love of God. Psalm chapter 18, verse 33 is a well-known passage to those who have been to churches for many years. Just reading this will make us feel excited and blessed. Here is one you're saying. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to stand on the heights. Do you know how many places this passage comes from in the Old Testament? It comes out in three places. The first place this passage appears in the Old Testament is in Second Samuel chapter 22. The Second Samuel chapter 22 is a collection of the winners of the songs of God who led David to victory in battle wherever he went. The last place that this world comes out is Habakkuk chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 3 tells us that the prophet Habakkuk had a lot of unanswered questions about the history of salvation, but gave thanks to God and sang the joy of salvation after discovering the deep meaning of God. All three have the same contents. However, the word in Habakkuk is somewhat different from that of Samuel and Psalms. The word to stand on heights in Samuel and the Psalms appears in Habakkuk as to go on the heights. Habakkuk is like this. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. It is because the world is gracious to the believer and that the world comes out three times in the Old Testament. I would like to first bless that this world will be a comfort and encouragement to all believers this year. Everyone, what do you think is the reason why we believe in Jesus and lead a religious life? Isn't it because we thank God for the grace that saved us and rejoices in the grace of their salvation? To be saved means to be a people of heaven and to live in the kingdom of God forever, right? If the believer is convinced of salvation, he will surely be saved. If he believes in redemption, he will surely be saved. The problem is, how do you live on the land as a rescuer? That's the problem. That's the problem. How do you want to live? Do you always want to live a fair life? Do you want to live in the lazy all the time? Do you want to live a timid and depressed life of blame in the years? Do you want to be captivated by inferiority complex all the time? No one would want to live like this. But there are many people living like this. Even among Christians who believe in Jesus, there are surprisingly many of such people. 
The word of Psalms chapter 18 verse 33 is thus a great echo to the Christian believers. In this world, we can discover the basic character and the identity that believers should have. Such a purity, diligence, hope, integrity, honor, security, and leadership. David expresses the character and identity of the believer with great imagination using the image of a deer and a high place. That's it. God makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to stand on the heights. Have you ever seen a deer? You've seen it a lot. I had served at a new church near Seoul for a year before I started my theology seminary. After the dawn worship, I want to preach so much that I often went up the middle of a low mountain near the church. Because there was a deer farm. There were twelve deer in the deer farm. I eagerly preached, staring at the deer. But every time I preached, the deer did not move from the rocks and heard my preaching until my sermon was over. The deer did so with their ears pricked up, their eyes wide open. Isn't it amazing? Most deer are taking a sermon. So I know a little bit about the behaviors of a deer. Deer is a very sensitive animal. He has a habit of looking around at small noises, even in small sound. They pricked up their ears and put their feet on the rocks, staring at only one side and the deer like to stand on high place. In the deer's behaviors, we need to think seriously about what kind of a character and identity which we Christians should have. The first is purity. Purity is clear and pure, isn't it? In verse 30 of this chapter, there is a saying, the way of God is perfect, and the word of the Lord is prodigious. He is a shield for all who take refuge in Him. Yes, yes. God's children should be pure, as the word of God is pure. I pray that all Christians will live in purity while keeping their purity. In this year, you and I will be pure. The second is strict rottenness. Deer are sensitive, rat, and vigilant animals. That's what the deer's feet are like and the deer's eyes. This world is so brilliant, attractive, and powerful. Today's world is so deceptive as to delude our noble face. This world is full of fun. This world is taking away the valuable values of Christianity that we have tried to cultivate for. Everyone, do not be deceived by the things of this world. The things in this world are for a moment. Just as a deer stands firmly on the ground, prick up his ears, open his eyes wide, and stare at one place, you must keep an eye on the world and set an index of your true face and strive. I wish all Christians in our country would wake up and pray spiritually in 2019 to be closer to God. 
The third is proud loneliness. Proud loneliness. Dear is proud lonely. Proud loneliness. It's been a while. It's great to use. I want the Christians to be proud lonely. Proud loneliness is a self-esteem that doesn't scare a person or feel lonely, isn't it? To the point where he behaves himself heartily. Now that the church is shrinking, many believers shrug their shoulders and don't say, I believe in Jesus. Many Christians are so depressed to go to church. You should not. Christians should be proud or lonely. Do not like to communicate with people too much. There is nothing to be blamed for the poor communication. I want you to communicate with God and be proud or lonely. Let's be proud or lonely a little bit this year. To the extent that you and I are being told that we are being too arrogant. The last one is Anna. Anna. This is the most important. The image of a deer is, to say the least, Anna. The deer looks dignified. Have you ever seen a deer star? Have you ever seen a deer staring into a distance with a big eye with a long foot on a high rock? It's like a majestic general at the top of a high rock commanding the entire army. Try to see that one. <laughs> it's a form of honor itself. I bless you in the name of the Lord that everyone who hears this sermon will live and love in the new year 2019. Our God is honorable. God wishes his children to live with honor. Man should live honorably because he was born honorably, shouldn't he? The saints are honorable men. Who was the most honorable person? Jesus. Jesus came to this land as a servant. But our God exalted Jesus as a servant and made him extremely honorable. Since Jesus lived honorably, the Christians who follow him should live honorably. What do you think? Am I right? I believe their blessings will come to the those who hear this sermon. I wish you will live honorably in 2019. I want to sing a hymn today. The chapter 384 in him, All the way my Savior leaders. May you join me in this praise. It's your favorite hymn, right? It would be better if the couple were together. Let's sing this song with your children when they are next to you. English lyrics begin like this. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? This gracious song of praise was written by Fanny Crosby, written by Robert Lorry in the mid-19th century. I will sing this celestial song in Korean. Nay, 
내주원에 있는 국률 어찌 의심하리요 믿음으로 사는 자는 하늘 위로 받겠네 무슨 일을 만나든지 만사 형통하리라 무슨 일을 만나든지 만사 형통하리라 나의 예갈 길다가 도로 예수 인도하시니 어려운 일 당한 때도 족한 은혜 주시네 나는 심히 고단하고 영원 배고 가라나 나의 해앞에반석에서 샘물 나게 하시네 나의 해앞에 반석에서 샘물 나게 하시네 아멘 My beloved brothers and sisters, make David praise be your praise. God trains my hands for weather, my arms can bend the bow of bronze. God broadened the path beneath me, so that my ankles do not turn. I hope you will win this year with faith. May our Lord walk with you every day and live honorably. I hope you will be in the position of honor. Please stand on the honorable side and associate with the noble. Make your home dignified. Amen. I bless you who promise to live like that. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening to the end. May the great grace and unchanging peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all throughout the year. Amen.